I mean, for good measure, right? You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. Why? Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's spicy. <laughs> you need? Oh my god. Water. Water. Put out Water. the fire. Hey, what's up guys? David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in my hometown of Miami, Florida. I'm here with my father and today what we're doing is we're going to spring chicken to celebrate 200K on YouTube. We're going to be eating a chicken feast. Basically, this place has the best chicken in Miami, best fried chicken. They have chicken sandwiches, chicken tenders, chicken wings, they got biscuits, they got beer. I'm so excited. I love this place. How about you, Dad? I love it. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm looking forward for this. I mean, I've been telling you for months, let's go there. But you've been traveling all over the world, so it's impossible. But I love this place and the chicken is amazing. I'm going to eat so much chicken. I'm going to be feathered by the end. I'll have feathers. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's located here in Coral Gables on US1 across the street from the University of Miami. I'm excited. Let's go eat some chicken. You ready? Ready. Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> Welcome to Spring Chicken. Walter, right? Yes, David. David, yeah, pleasure. Nice to meet you. So here we are inside Spring Chicken, and this restaurant has one big dining hall, and then they also have a terrace outside. I love the terrace, but it's a little noisy right now, and in terms of lighting for us, it won't be that great, so we decided to come inside, and we're gonna try an IPA here from Miami Brewing Company. We're splitting it because it's during the day, and we don't really? wanna... I don't want to drink too much. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you, you can have it. I just no, want to have a sip. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. I'm just kidding. I want my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting five different things today. We're getting the Nashville Buffalo Sandwich. We're getting the Yardbird Sandwich. Chicken by the Piece. Chicken Tenders, which are my favorites. And the Memphis Style Wings. And I have a surprise for you guys. We're getting something else. It's not chicken, but it's amazing. Is that all? Is that uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. You know it's going to be a lot. We're going to split it. It's still going to be like overkill, but uh, it's going to be amazing. and. As I said before, this place has like the freshest chicken around. No hormones, no artificial ingredients, super fresh, not frozen. What, you wanna split this or what? No, no, just drink from it. All right, all right. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, it's good. Yeah? Oh, it's really nice. I like it. I like bringing you around. <laughs> yeah, because I eat half your chicken, otherwise you'd get like 200 pounds heavier, you know? If you ate everything. I have to lose yeah. weight. India really killed me. <laughs> no, it did not. Nah. The ghee, the ghee, the ghee. Okay, so here we go. We're starting off with the chicken tenders. My favorite thing here. I actually come here with my family and we get like a box. They actually have a box of 18 of these, which is like unreal, but so delicious. Right? <laughs> I'm dying to get started. Yes, all right, all right, let's start it. Oh, I think butter. that's butter, butter yeah, for with this the biscuit, this? and that's jam. Oh, the jam. Okay. And then right here we have some macaroni and cheese. Jam. Oh, look at this macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Mm. Can't wait to try it. The cool thing about this place is they also have a bar here where they have sauces. So here we have four different sauces. I actually got, I got two of the barbecue because it looks so good. So we got southern barbecue sauce. We have wild honey mustard, sweet fire sauce, and honey rooster sauce. <laughs> okay, we're gonna like, grab one of these. All right, let's try it. No, we don't need that for this. I know, but I like opening up this thing. Oh my god, okay. Like this, because we need them to try the mac and cheese. Well, no, but I, I think we're here. not gonna start on mac and cheese, we're gonna start with this, right? Yeah, grab one. Grab, grab it. One. All right, so I'm gonna go for the barbecue. Okay, I'm gonna go for the barbecue also. Cheers, Woo. Cheers. Mm. Juicy, crunchy. Mmm, the barbecue. A little sweet and a little hot. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The, the chicken is hot. Chicken's hot. It's not too hot. We let it like sit for a bit. Is double dipping allowed here? Yeah. Okay. You with me, man? All right. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of that. If you're hot with sauce. your wife, your husband, or your son, you can do this. Mmm. The hot sauce is hot. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, crystal. You know, crystal. The hot sauce from Louisiana. Mm hmm. Ooh. Very hot. Yeah, I think right here we have the sweet and sour. Mmm. Mmm. I love these. I can eat like a thousand of these. I didn't know I like chicken so much. No. Nah, my whole life we've been eating this stuff. Dad. What is this one? Is this the same or different? No, it's like a sweet and sour. Okay. I mean, the best one for sure is the barbecue sauce. 
es que demasiado rico. Very demasiado. good. Mm. It's so good. It's it's just like mouth watering. I think I'm not sure, but it smells like honey butter, right? It's honey butter. It's honey butter. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing that goes with biscuits. Yeah. It's one of the things I love about this place. Oh, the fluffy biscuit. Ooh. There you go. So the way we do it is we get some of that honey butter. Yeah, right. Like this. Let's get some there. Oh, let's put it all over it. And then what? You're gonna put jam, or you're gonna? Mmm. Mm. Mm. Soft, fluffy. Honey butter gives it a little creamy. Very creamy. Lazy creamy. Mmm. It's very creamy. It's one of my favorite biscuits ever. Mm-hmm. Mmm. And you gotta put some jam though, Dad. You can almost live on this, right? I mean, this takes me like straight back to like Mississippi right now. And the thing is that the jam, what it does is it really gives you like a breakfast taste. Very good. Mm. Love this stuff. Uh, southern breakfast is basically chicken and biscuits. Mm. Oh wow. So the mac and cheese, huh? Yeah. So it's mm. super creamy mac and cheese with like some crumble on top. I don't know what it is, but it, mm. Mmm. Mmm. Bread flakes. Mmm. Super creamy. Different, like two or three different cheeses here, right? Right. And you know, mac and cheese oh. is so American, even though it's a pasta, really. It's so American, I think. I don't know. Can you get mac and cheese all over the world? No. I don't I think know. It's can. very American, right? I mean, it's become a very southern thing. Yeah, Obviously, right? this, re this restaurant is very southern. Fried chicken, fried catfish, chicken wings, chicken sandwiches. Mmm. Wow. I mean, I think we're gonna hold off. This is the first I dish. I think so. I think so. <laughs> the next thing we're trying is chicken by the piece. So basically, we have a drumstick. We have, I think we have a breast. What else do we have here? Uh, wing. Wing. So it's basically the whole chicken. Yeah. Just broken up into little pieces. Not a whole half chicken. Okay. So what do you want to try? Um, I don't know. What do you want to try? You first. I'm gonna go with this. You just start. Oh god, it's oh, a big. It's like el cuerpo. I have a drumstick. I have a drumstick. <laughs> no drumstick. Drumstick. Are you gonna dip it? Uh, do I dip it? I don't know. Maybe we should I try, try it. it like this. First. Yeah, let's go. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, super juicy. Mmm. I don't know how they do it. Oh, they, they do it. <laughs> they do it. I just don't know how. Mmm. But well, is there a secret? That's part of their business, I guess. Again, super fresh chicken. Oh my god. Oh my god. How oh, wet it is. Super moist. Mmm. You gotta mix it in with some Do of that sauce. Do people in India eat chicken? Oh, I love chicken. They love yeah. chicken. Yeah, the non-veg. Mm-hmm. Mm. But they, they don't eat the cows, right? No, the only thing they don't be, eat in India is beef. Pork? No beef. Mmm, pork not really. It's more like buffalo, buffalo, buffalo lamb, goat, chicken. Mmm. Look at that. So amazing. Oh, this chicken is super crispy. Mmm. It's very good. Just falling apart here. Ooh, it's super hot. You gotta, be, you gotta be willing to eat it with your hands because you can't eat this. Nah, and you gotta dip into the sauces. Mm. I actually like some of the chicken without the sauce, just straight. Mm. Super juicy, super fresh. Oh, I just love chicken, especially when it's like good chicken that you know it's been like, you know, basically from the farm yesterday. It's interesting, you know, the crispiness is almost like bacon, right? Mm. It's bacon-like. Oh. Yeah, I mean, and when you when you bite into it, all the juice is flowing through. Mm -hmm. That's when you know it's good chicken. You can really tell the difference between frozen chicken and non-frozen chicken. This is non-frozen. Oh, I'm done. You're yeah, done. We have a lot of things to try here. I know. Oh, look how it thing. falls off. Let's get some of the skin. I know. Mm. Get some of that hot sauce though. Hot sauce. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, this place also has draft beer. Draft beer on tap. Nothing like chicken and beer, right? So southern. So they gave us a little curveball here. This is a catfish po' boy. Po' boys are basically sandwiches like in Louisiana, Mississippi, and this one has catfish. Catfish is super southern. Look at this, guys. Oh, this catfish looks amazing. So what does it have? It has catfish, lettuce, I think there's some like... Capers. Capers, oh, capers. Yep, let's do the catfish. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm, fried catfish. The bun is super soft. I love it. It's like it's it's like capers with tartar sauce, right? Why do they call it catfish? Because they're cat. Oh, okay. I thought it was like meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Had the whiskers, man. 
Oh, I love this sandwich. And this is not like a traditional po' boy. Usually, po' boy is like almost like a you know a big sub. They cut it in the middle, mm -hmm. open it up, throw everything inside. This one's like a sandwich with a catfish. Oh, this catfish is delicious. So next up, we have the Memphis style wings. What's the difference? Yeah, What's the difference between the Memphis and regular style? The difference, I don't know. What do you think? I guess the spices. I'm sure the it's spices, a lot hotter. Yeah. Cause like Memphis, you know, natural. It's always like hot. Oh, look at that wing. And the pickles. The pickles are probably to make some contrast between the taste. Mm. I'm gonna try these fries also. Oh, that's like some spices on top. Mm. What's that? I think it's cinnamon. There's no? a sauce. Let me eat the pickle. Mm. Mm. It's not hot in terms of spice. No, right? No, nah, no, nah, at all. Because like if we would have gone with natural. Should we try uh, this one here? This sauce? Mm -hmm. What Probably. is this? I don't know. Probably uh, ranch. This ranch, ranch, ranch always goes good with wings. Wow. Oh, I love it. It's got like spices. I don't know what spices are. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I also feel like there might be like cinnamon on top. Am I crazy? Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you try the pickle? Of course. It's good contrast. Mm -hmm. Very nice contrast. And we also have some french fries, mm -hmm. which this is going to go into the barbecue. Mm. Same thing. The you know, chicken falls off the, the bone. bone. So next up we have the Nashville Buffalo Sandwich. So Nashville Buffalo Chicken Sandwich. It's actually a wrap. Looks amazing. They said it's a little hot. Anything from Nashville, like anything chicken wise, they always make it hot. Really? Yeah. Nashville it's their thing. It's their like specialty. Spicy. Mm. Does this look like anything like India? <laughs> no. Like <laughs> India, no. Well India does have something like this, like chicken right? tikka. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka wrap. Tikka tikka. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Mm -hmm. It's a little spicy. Mm. A little sauce in Can here. I have pickles in there. I think it's pickles to soften the blow a little bit. A little bit. There's some uh, some lettuce. What else is in here? Mm. Is it mayo or like no spicy sauce? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. Ah. I mean, for good measure, right? You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. Why? Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's spicy. <laughs> you need. Oh my god. Water. Water. Pull out Water. the fire. No, I'll, just, I'll use the beer to put it out. Oh, that's great. Ooh. Uh, it's a nice wrap. Really filling. Yeah, we both like had to leave it because god. we still have one more thing to try. Oh. Call the fire department, please. Is it that hot for you? Man, this guy would not survive in India. Of course not. <laughs> Here we have the Yardbird sandwich. This thing is amazing. Look at this. Is it spicy? No, so basically all it is that is fried chicken. Okay. I think pickles, mayo, and that's it. I'll eat that. And what she was telling me is that people come here and they'll get it just plain. Just a sandwich. That's it. Nothing else. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this guy in half. I think this is gonna be the star for us. Probably gonna be our favorite. I mean for me the chicken tenders are always gonna be my top yeah, right? ones. But oh my god. I you love take it. the big piece. Alright, okay, cheers. Cheers. 200 k Here's to the next eight hundred thousand. Oh wow. Mm. The combination with the mayo and the pickle. For me, this is oh, the best one. This is a star. Wow. Look at the size of the thickness of this. This chicken is out of control. Like, it's so freaking good. Mm. There's a little bit of spice in it as well. No? Or maybe it's the lingering from the past. Yeah. Room. yeah. Oh, but it's so good. If it's spicy, I cannot even feel it. <clears throat> Before it was zero to ten, it was like a nine, and it's like a one, maybe. Mm. Oh man. This is one of the best chicken sandwiches. Ever. If you eat this one by itself, it's a meal. I know. It's so good. Oh man, I'm in love with this sandwich. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start coming here just for the sandwich. Very good. I think I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Me too. Is that it? No more food? Thank you, but like. How's it going, guys? My name is Walter here from Spring Chicken. Just wanted to introduce you to our little concept here. You know, we like to be very homey, southern style. We have really good fried chicken, and we pride ourselves on that. We have a 27 hour brining process that we use, and then from there, we get it fried to a crisp, and it's beautiful. So today we gave you a couple of tenders with some of our beautiful mac and cheese. It's definitely one of our most popular sides. Um, you tried the catfish po' boy, which is really, really popular. That's a new addition to our menu. Um, and it really brings home that, that southern feel that we were going for. Also, the Memphis wings that you guys tried had a nice spice to it. That's a homemade rub that we put on there. And it's served with some fresh fries and blue cheese on the side. So our chicken is all natural, you know, hormone-free, dye-free. We do get it all fresh, never frozen, and that really goes a long way. And then the 27-hour brining process 
paired with those two items, you can't get a better product with it. So we have a lot of big groups coming in. We have a lot of catering orders that we do for UM tailgates. But if you know a big group of four, five, six people, we have two or three bucket specials that we offer. And there are a couple of great sides that they can go with it. So we're located in Coral Gables right across the street from UM campus. If you guys are ever in the neighborhood and want to stop by on the weekend, we do have a great brunch menu that we offer from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Cheers, Dad. We did it. Cheers. We got chickened out. <laughs> <laughs> you see any feathers? No, no I don't Not see yet. any feathers, but man, that, Maybe that later meal, tonight. That, that meal was really incredible. I mean, my favorite thing for sure was the Yardbird sandwich. I think number two is obviously the chicken tenders. They're so delicious, and with all these sauces, it's a must. Must. The, the mustard and the, the, the honey mustard and the barbecue are the best for me. But the sweet and sour and the hot sauce are really good as well. Are good, but to me, too hot. Ah, not I must hard. be getting old. I don't think that was hot. I think for you, was hot was the, the yeah, Nashville. Yeah, the Nashville thing was. The Nashville woo! Buffalo. If you, like, if you like hot, order the Nashville. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that this is really like a family place. Uh, at least I feel like it is. You know, you come here, you see a lot of students, a lot of families, people coming to chill. Uh, you know, it is more of a gourmet chicken, uh, fried chicken joint, which is amazing because it's very hard to come by. You know, usually people just go to like, you know, standard uh, fast food restaurants, but this is another mm -hmm. level. And you can come here, you can drink some beers. Definitely worth it. All right, Dad, cheers. Cheers. So guys, when you come here to Miami, come down to Coral Gable, South Miami area. Come to Spring Chicken. You will love this place. If you're into fried chicken, you're gonna die here. And if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next food travel adventure in somewhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Dad.